I wouldn't say that from the number of like SWAT raids with the bear cat that we're seeing, you know, I mean, when we, when we tried to push back against this militarization of the police, one of the things I said was, it's a, it's a quote, a famous saying, right, where, you know, if everything, uh, if all you have is a hammer, then everything looks like a nail. Yeah. So, you know, we were basically saying if you give this militarized equipment to the police, they will start to use it for things that it's not really appropriate for. So what have we seen? Probably in the last two weeks, I stopped counting because I just well, I get there was, so mad. It seems I like every day three, somebody's shooting somebody. Three or, or four SWAT raids with the Bearcat. All of them, I believe, two were more. actually wellness checks. So again, can we get to the point where we are not sending militarized tanks to upset mentally unstable people's houses and thereby escalating things where we're locking down neighborhoods? Like, you know, I say this all the time, Tammy, I'm going to say it again. We, our destiny is whatever future we're creating. Right. So if you want a future with soldiers on the streets and military vehicles everywhere and cops shooting mentally unstable people, then let's continue on this track. If we don't want that, then we have to start to change. We have to reform, we have to get rid of the violence, and we have to figure out decent human ways with persuasion and words for people to come to conclusions. The state is a system of bullying because it forces you to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. And I think, you know, if the year teaches us, this past year has taught us one thing, it's that. Now, before we change to the schools, I do want to say this. You keep talking, I'm just I was laughing because today's in the health section of the newspaper. For every single person who is even slightly unhealthy back home, who wore a mask, or if you smoke or make choices that are not the healthiest and you wore a mask over the past year, here is what the CDC says you have to do now. from now on. And if you wore a mask and you thought the CDC is the be all and end all, here's what you have to commit to doing over the next year. You have to make lifestyle changes such as eating a health heart healthy diet getting regular physical exercise achieving and maintaining a healthy weight and limiting your alcohol consumption so i look forward to everyone who uh called me a murderer for a year right. to uh get on that program because i got on that program which is why i didn't have to wear a mask right. or worry about my immune system or anything so I look forward to everyone coming on board with all of that. Thank you. Tirade over.